All right, we're the A-team, and this is management decision-making. This is Steve. Steve uses the bounded rationality model as a business model for his car dealership that he owns. Because of this model, Steve only sells four-door sedans and doesn't offer any other options for customers. Jeff owns the used car dealership across the street that offers a variety of options for customers that range from small two-door cars to large SUVs and trucks. This is Bob. Bob's uh, looking to purchase a new car. Bob is looking for a car that runs well and is reliable, so he doesn't care what type of car it actually is, just as long as it runs well. Bob decides to go visit Jeff at his dealership and is instantly overwhelmed by all the various types of cars that are for sale. Jeff asks him a bunch of questions about what type of car he is looking for, and he doesn't really know how to respond, so Bob decides to leave and visit Steve across the street. Steve offers one type of car for Bob to purchase, so he doesn't have to worry about which car is best for him because only one type is available. Bob decides to buy the car, and you can see how the bounded rationality model was effective in this situation when Bob decided to go out and buy this car.